my wonderful officers who have been decorated today, family members who have come and who are the rock behind these officers, senior officers present here on the dais, special DG, Ms. Nina Singh, additional DGs, Mr. P. U. Shannon and Mr. G. S. Malik, my Inspector Generals of Police, who are posted here, and other senior officers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this proud moment for the force, for the officers, for the family of the officers. This is a very special moment because it instills a feeling of pride in all of us. Pride in wearing a medal. Officers, what is a medal? In fact, last year, on 15th August, I was at the Red Fort, and being in the official function, I was wearing my medals. Somebody took a photograph of mine and put it on social media, and someone else sarcastically asked, what is the weight of this medal? And that set me thinking, what is the weight of this medal? If I think about the responsibility of a, which a medal carries, the weight is very heavy. But if I think that this medal which you have got today, or I'm wearing here, it is because of the sweat, toil, and whatever I have done for my country, my force, and the society, then I can carry this middle with pride. It does not have a weight. This is the value of the middle. You know what is a middle? Middle is the heartbeat of the uniform. You wear a uniform, it becomes like a second skin to you. The middle is the heartbeat which the world can see. That's what the middle is. But middle, what change does it bring? It will bring a change. First thing is, of course, it is a recognition of the services which you have already rendered. Recognition of that. But it makes you, it's also a recognition of you being a leader. And this medal also exhorts you to be a better leader in future. And what is the better leader in future? You know, in forces, to obey orders is a given. You ought to be obeying orders. But when you give orders and somebody obeys them, you just get followers. But a leader is one who delegates authority and he is able to create more leaders under this middle tells you that you will create leaders in the force who will have a vision and change the force for better you will be delegating authority and i'll give you a small mantras for that and the simple one is in a course of action in your official duty or maybe in your personal world as well. If you cannot decide something, be sure the answer is no. And the second one is, you will often be finding in your course of duty that there are two paths to follow. And you do not know which one to follow. Always choose the one which is more painful. Short-term pain is long-term gain. Always choose a short-term pain path and you'll be happier in future. And we in uniform are actually kings. How are we kings in this uniform? Because you know the conquerors the kings, 
everyone wore a uniform. But in this world, there is a way to be a king, and there is a way to be a conqueror in uniform. And the way is scholarship, eloquence, and a completely uncompromising commitment to set of values. If you have these three, you are a king in uniform. And to the kings here, the wives who are present here, the day you married the man in uniform, you became a queen for life. For the children here, your father has worn a uniform. That means he's a man of heart, a big heart. For the parents here, you were the protector when these men in uniform were small. Today, these children whom you had protected as child are protectors of the country and protectors of the elders too. For the sisters, you used to tie a rakhi to your brothers. The nation ties the rakhi to them to protect them now. To the brothers, they are the idols. So the medals which you have worn today represent all this which I spoke right now. These medals will spur you to such heights that one day the world will say, these officers of CISF are men of steel with a heart of gold. Jai Hind.